All right, here we are. I am leaving for Blade Show tomorrow. And what I am doing right now is I am ebonizing this wood. And it's this crazy process where you use a chemical reaction between iron oxide and tannins to stain or darken a wood. And it's really crazy because it's the chemical reaction that colors it and not any kind of stain. So there's a delayed reaction and it's hard to see where you have and haven't gone. I've had to go back and redo it a bunch of times. But part of the problem here with my display is pine uh, doesn't have a lot of tannins in it. So before I can ebonize this wood, I had to soak it in um, black tea, which when it dries in, uh, the wood will soak up the tannins from the black tea. So it's crazy, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'll be driving through rainstorms the entire way to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm just getting my display finished up right now. It is, it's been a crazy process. I'm gonna do a whole video on the building of this display. I'm pretty proud of it. This is the largest tabletop display in the history of Blade Show. And so I did not set out to accomplish that goal. I set out to build what I wanted to build and I read their rules closely and tried to build what I wanted to build within the constraints of their rules and regulations. And it just so happens that what I wanted to build was a little more... Uh, 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 just a little more than anything that's ever been done before. Uh, and I think the results are going to be really, really awesome. It's going to be an interesting drive because once again, like usual, I'll be driving the little Jeep Wrangler with no AC, no power steering, no ABS, no track bars, no sway bars, nothing, pulling a heavy trailer across the country in a rainstorm a vehicle that when i purchased this thing multiple of the, i found multiple of the previous owners on facebook groups and they're like dude the thing's not even safe to use on the freeway like you can't even get this thing on the freeway bro we're pulling a trailer across the doggone country uh <clears throat> with this thing on the freeway but it'll be wild so uh, I'm going to try and get this wrapped up tonight. It'll probably be a late night. I still have to finish hand painting my sign. We're going to get it all together. And when I do my uh, videos for Blade Show, we'll include more of the trip, more of the adventure, more of this stuff. It's been wild, guys. Um, <clears throat> this is probably your last chance to buy anything at ExodusKnifeAndTool.com until next week. And I'll have some wild stuff available next week. So uh, tune in. And if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, go to Blade Show. If you're anywhere near there, go to Blade Show. Come to my table. I will have once-in-a-lifetime knives. And I'm giving away two knives that are some of the rarest and coolest knives that I have ever, ever sold. So it's going to be a big show. I'm, we're, we're going big. I'm all in. My whole budget, my whole everything, every cent that I've made more than every cent that I've made is going into this show and Lord willing it's going to be big uh, so if you're showing up let me know enter to win some free stuff guys your best chance to win a free Exodus knife and tool knife is to show up wearing Exodus knife and tool apparel or to purchase Exodus knife and tool apparel while you're there that will enter you to win one of those knives have a blessed day I'll talk to you uh, in the comment section below